Right now, though, we're hanging out uh, with uh, D Donovan from Rada. You know what it is. He always brings us the best when it comes to the How To series. Last week, yeah. we kick started off the the series of how to put a successful or a brilliant, um, you know, um, CV out there. And uh, today, we're going to be covering obviously how to design your CV as well as how to prepare a cover letter. D, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you being here. <clears throat> Let's get straight into it, bro. Yeah, like you said, we, we kicked off on Thursday with uh, how to create the perfect uh, yeah, CV. Yeah. And uh, the fact is that everybody needs a CV. And if you don't have a good CV, it stops you from actually getting a job. Yeah, yeah. So last week we kicked off with what you would need in order for you to, the information you would need in order for you to um, create a CV uh, with regards to your personal information, your education, the companies you worked for and so forth. Today we're going to be looking at how to design a CV. Now you must be thinking like, damn, where do I start because I've never actually put a CV together. Well, there's different options. Number one, you can actually go online and you can get a template that's already set out for you. Or number two, you can actually create one yourself. Now when it comes to creating a CV, a lot of people don't know or they don't use or they try and do too many things that that makes it difficult. But the easiest way for you to actually create a CV is to use your word program. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Because that's your standard template. Okay. You use black and white. Uh, Dolly mentioned last week that you can use other colors. I say you can uh, to spice it up so that you can make your CV more Attractive, so yeah. presentable. What's yeah. preferable? Like what's what's preferred? Black and white. Yeah. Black and white is preferred. Yes. Black and white is preferred. It's more professional. Yes. Okay. Um, well, it depends because if you're applying for a job uh, that's more on a creative level. So, for example, if you're applying for a job that's uh, where you got to do something creative and people and you want to show people what you can do, then you change it up. Because it's yeah. not standard. But if you're applying for a job that uh, you know you, you uh, are going to be sitting across from somebody and you're going to be working in an office, then you keep it standard. Don't you think it's boring, though, like having that black and white CV with yeah, just the information standard, and the like borderline? You well, you know what? The thing is, you don't have to have a borderline. So, uh, like I said, I've got, <laughs> you don't have to put a square around <laughs> your CV because like, everybody has it. Okay? That is a standard one. Like, so, somebody get borderline in my arm, so I don't come out with the information and that's it. Black roses. <laughs> so, the thing about this is that, think about it. You're going to send your CV to a company. The person that's looking at your CV is going to get their assistant to print out the CV. They're going to print it out in black and white because they're saving costs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so at even the end though, of the day. but then, but and then, then it looks weird yeah. now when you've like. But then it's just going the extra mile because when they receive it on their PC, they're like, ah, they put in effort. Yeah, no, no, no. I love know. effort. You know, <laughs> A for effort, definitely. <laughs> but what we're saying is for you, the guy that is listening to us right now, that is on your way to a, a job interview and you've got your CV in front of you. Straight. Even though you've got a basic CV that's standard, it's still going to do what it's meant to do if you have the right information in it. All right. And that's what is key. 